was that damage, dude? What was that fire mage damage? Hey, what's up, guys? Clunky do here. Hope guys are doing well. And today we are gonna take a look at the best freaking build for fire mage in the patch 10.1 in Dragonflight for PP. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the stats prior. And then we are going to look at the talents. And then finally, I'm going to show you guys the rotation, the full burst rotation that is going to allow you guys to deal some disgustingly. The first thing that you need to worry about is actually getting that 30% versatility. Okay. Once you reach that 30% versatility, there is really no point pushing in pushing it further because uh, at that point you start getting diminishing returns so that means that for every percent more than 30 percent that you are gonna add to your uh, main stats you are not gonna get all the benefits so 30 percent that's the sweet spot and then everything goes into haste. Okay, haste, why? It reduces the global cooldown. It reduces the cast time of your abilities. It, uh, it, it actually increases the rate at which your ignite is sticking. So it's sticking not stronger, but like way faster. So it, and overall, you're gonna deal a lot more damage doing this. Also the top rank, one players in the world right now are using haste like crazy the next best stat after haste is obviously mastery okay but that's not what we are going to focus on okay haste on everything haste on everything possible uh the only thing that i did not go for haste this belt so <clears throat> what's happening with this belt uh why is it so good Every time you apply CC to your enemy, you are going to gain 500 primary stat right away for 10 seconds. And as you knew it, freaking combustion lasts for 12 seconds. So you get where I am going right now. Okay, so uh, that thing right here, the belt, procs whenever you use Ice Nova, whenever you Frost Nova, whenever you Dragon's Breath, Ring of Frost, every CC triggers it, okay? And it has a, a freaking 30 seconds cooldown. That's pretty freaking low for uh, such a big increase in power, okay? We are running double trinkets because we are human, okay? Uh, that's not the best race. But that's what we are running right now, because like just for raw damage, okay? That's all we want. We want to do as much damage as possible. For your main weapon, you want to use Suffolk Devotion, okay? That's what's going to allow you to deal some massive, big, freaking pyros, okay? I've tested with the Haste Enchant. It was kind of similar, but overall, I feel like I'm doing way more burst damage, way, way more burst damage, sorry, with Suffolk Devotion. Okay, so now that is out of the way, we are going to take a look at the best build right here. Don't worry, I'm going to link it down in the description so you guys can actually just like copy and paste and start playing with it right away. Okay, uh, we are just going to talk about those PP talents real fast. Pyrokinesis, you can switch that one for um ring of fire ring of fire pyrokinesis they are kind of uh, the same value okay ring of fire is more of a um, anti melee type of uh, of uh, talent while uh, pyrokinesis is more focused on raw single target damage okay uh, it resets the cooldown of your combustion really fast and also we've got passives that actually increases it way further so you are going to get your combustion really really faster with this not talking about shifting power which also reduces the cooldown of your combustion okay fire blasts and everything glass cannon <laughs> what can i say it's freaking broken it's busted it's disgusting you need to pick up that talent okay i swear it's it's one of the best talent in the whole game 
right away, okay? Uh, combined with Flame Cannon. Okay, th this one is so good that it actually reduces your maximum health by 15% to compensate, okay? <laughs> Flame Cannon, uh, it literally just gives you uh, an overall damage boost for uh, when you are in combat for... Um, a certain amount of time which is super good and uh, you are going to find <clears throat> that these two stack so well together that you will never use anything else the main two things that we are going to look at is shifting power you actually need to use it to burst to keep bursting to uh, keep getting your cooldowns back and uh, allow you to just like deal more damage overall you need to press that key once your burst is over to just like trigger it and uh, get it back get it back very quickly uh we did spend a point and phoenix reborn every time your targets take damage from ignite it reduces the cooldown of phoenix flames okay it goes very well with shifting power that's the whole goal here uh, we are playing with one point and flame accelerant because I feel like two points is not really that good. If it did increase the damage of fireball even further, we would have taken it. But since it does not, like spending one more point for 20% uh, percent reduced cast time of fireball is not that worth it, okay? So we are going to talk about uh, the rotation. Okay, the full burst rotation right now. And I've actually added an add-on which shows the spells that I'm using in real time. So you guys can follow along, understand like way better. And it makes like makes it like so much clearer what is happening on the screen. Alright, let's do it. Just before we move on, we are playing with the two sets bonus, the tier set bonuses. In uh, Phoenix Flames, applies Cheering Embers to all enemies. And it I increases your damage by 5%, okay? So you want to keep that on the target almost at all time. It increases your damage by a flat 5%, which is not bad. I mean, 5% increase on some insane freaking one-shot damage. So uh, you need to keep that in mind. And also, not using Phoenix Flames, like at least one charge, it, uh, it actually reduces your damage overall okay And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look at the damage. Uh, we did hit the... Uh, where's the fireball damage? Yeah, that that's <laughs> that's something, dude. Okay, so uh, Ignite, your biggest freaking damage overall. It basically... It basically is broken right now. Okay, I'm recording. Good. Uh, absolutely disgusting, okay? It was actually taking for... Almost 60k a tick, okay? We did not use heroism because uh, it would have been like way, way stronger, okay? Uh, Pyro Blast, we did get a couple of uh, 74k hits, not too shabby. They're instants, they're, there are basically failures to your rotation, like throwing those big pyros, taking almost 100k each. Uh, and there, <laughs> that's the the freaking meaty part, okay? Uh, we did throw three fireballs that did up to 157k damage, okay? Fireball is your big, big, big damage ability, especially if you throw it uh, within your trinket and your combustion window. Like you always need to every eight seconds, okay? Remember that talent that we spoke about? Every eight seconds, you try and cast one single fireball and it's going to increase your damage by so much, uh, especially the burst damage because 
uh, rigging 157k fireball is kind of disgusting. Not talking about the fact that if you are using heroism, man, that is going to be absolutely stupid. The amount of freaking fire that you're going to blow to everybody around you, okay? Uh, fire blast hit for uh, 53k. That's instant. Um and so on okay so i don't know if you guys noticed but i've actually used ice nova when uh i've started the burst to give myself the 500 uh, primary stat it's really important you don't always need to use it sometimes it just happens because you need to see someone and then you start bursting another person that's just how it goes but uh always try to before using your trinkets before using everything you try and cc something okay 10 seconds you get uh basically a free trinket proc right away on the snap of your fingers Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. That is going to encourage me to keep making even better content for you guys in the future. And also, you don't want to miss out on the next guide videos, one shot videos that I'm going to post in the following weeks, months, years down the road. So, if you've watched this video up until now, you are a legend and I thank you so much. Hopefully, you have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay awesome, gentlemen. This was Clunky Doo.